Tomorrow we're going to Colorado. <laughs> Beth is not feeling the greatest. But we're supposed to be going snowboarding and skiing. So we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, my name is Sheila and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full-time since 2015 and now I'm back home and I'm starting to help people grow their own YouTube channel, their businesses, their social media. I'm starting a second channel. If you go over there now, there's nothing there, but I'm going to start posting and helping people grow their channel. And I'm also offering YouTube courses. So that's the, all that information is going to be over there. This channel is about travel, is about just doing stuff. So I want to keep it separate. This week, I'm in Minnesota, but last weekend, Seth and I went to Telluride, Colorado with my college roommate, Mandy, because it was her dad's birthday. So it was like a big family vacation that we got invited along. So as some of you may know, when I go on these trips, I don't do any planning. I don't do any planning. But this time, we kind of planned a little bit because we were flying into Denver. We're gonna rent a car, we're gonna drive there. On the way to Denver, Mandy calls me. All of the roads are closed because of the avalanche, so you need to fly to Montrose. And we still had an hour, hour and a half drive to get to Telluride. Like, in my mind, this plane is going to Montrose. All these people need to get somewhere. They're probably on their way to Telluride. Literally, my plan was, I'm gonna talk to some people at baggage claim see if any of them are going to Telluride, and see if they have space. I know it's midnight, but like, do you have extra space in the car? Whatever, this was my plan. Well, Mandy was like absolutely freaking out. So she called and ended up getting a hold of one of the people. It's a much better plan, but that's just how I think, you guys. I don't make plans. So what else? We get to the house at like 2 a.m. and the driver's like, oh, is this the house? And I'm like, I don't know, I've never been here before. Let's see if the door's open. Door's open. Let me go, let me go walk inside. Mandy sends me a picture of my room and gives me directions on how to get there. My little picture, saw my bed, I was like, this is the house! Seth is a very, he's a rule follower. He doesn't want to do any of this. So he's like waiting outside. Oh yeah, this is it, no worries. So we go to bed and Mandy's like, if you get, if Seth wants to do first tracks, which means you get to go out before everyone else, like an hour early, it's at 7 a.m. That's like five hours from now. We get first tracks this morning, so. That means we get to ride before everybody else, which is pretty sick. I'm pretty excited about it. 14 inches of bow. I don't even know. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Want to show outside? I feel like absolute garbage. Yeah, the house is at 10,000 feet, which is like, I think I looked it up. It's like 3,000 meters or 3,050. It's high. That's like where Cusco, Peru is. So I have altitude sickness. <laughs> Luckily, they had rented this oxygen tank. So everyone's getting ready to go out skiing and I'm sitting in the chair with like oxygen in my nose. Like, have a great time. And they all came home and Seth is spent. He's like so done. And I'm like, now they're going out for beers and stuff and this is the only night they're doing it. And apparently one beer at altitude is like two. To get there, three gondolas. Good, how you doing? Awesome, man. Was the most beautiful gondola ride I've ever taken. I was like, I don't believe that we're in Colorado. Rather horizontal ridge line yep. up against the sky. There's a road that goes over it. Really? Yeah. Huh. 13, something like that. I don't really want to drink. I don't really want to go out, but I just want to like go out and have fun and hang out with people. Okay, Shayla. And he rallied. I could not believe it. Where are we going, beautiful Mandy? Uh, my mom's camera. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, do it for the vlog. Where are we going? Yeah. We're going to Smugglers. <laughs> Seth, you're looking dapper, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went to bar number one, now we're on our way to bar number two. Bar number two. Yeah. Hey, you don't use that language when I'm filming. <laughs> it's a video! <laughs> this that's a great stance you got going right now. Mandy didn't want to be in it, but she's okay with it now. I'm never really okay with it, but I love it enough to be okay with it. I don't love it. You guys make it really difficult with the height difference. I'm like, Mandy. Hey, we're gonna make the vlog. Yeah, are you making, are you only, only, only if you tell me what you're doing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you hashtag sponsored? Can we see that on Wednesday?
<laughs> it's a video. Why do you always think it's a book? Because yogurt. For the next two days, we just ski and snowboard. We are headed out to go skiing and snowboarding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at these mountains. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are out here. We stopped to enjoy the view. Like, what? It doesn't stop. This is unbelievable. And the weather is amazing. It's not too cold. It's getting better. It's like 30 degrees. Yeah, it's great. Ready? Job. We had ski instructors and, and I'm like, why? I think that's dumb. Why do you have ski instructors? And then I was like, oh, because they know all the runs. They know the good places to go. They give you tips on how to be better. I learned on freaking Buck Hill. Seth is the best learner. If you tell him how to do something better, he'll do it better. Seth's like, hey, will you just let me know if I need to like improve anything? I was like, yeah, me too. Give me some tips. They start trying to help me. Mm -mm. I don't know. I just... I didn't get it. I was like, I don't really feel like I'm doing anything wrong. I feel like I'm skiing okay. Literally, the two ski instructors were like, she doesn't want to learn. And I was like, oh my God, I need to change my attitude because that's the worst. The next morning I woke up and I was like, today's a good day to learn. And today was the day that they took us on the like Black Diamonds. At Telluride, the, the, it's insane. And guess what? The tips that they taught me on the easy hill mattered on the big hills. Seth is here to meet this fa my family, right? my roommate's family. He's doing a phenomenal job chatting with the aunts, washing dishes after dinner. They're like, dang, Shayla, before I thought if someone lost you, they were the dumb one. Now, if you lose him, you're the dumb one. I was like, okay. And one of the ski instructors, Jason, I called him Friendly Jason because he was talking to everyone. Here we go. Seth, you ready? You're right there. Make everyone feel included, loud and playful and friendly. Well, we played this game called Fishbowl. Three rounds. You have two teams. Everyone puts in four different things. It could be sailing to Norway. It could be Telluride. It could be whatever. First round is charade. And then the second round, you can only use actions. Then the third round, you use one word. So like sailing to Norway, you'd say boat. Well, Seth and Jason are on this side of me, the ski instructor and my boyfriend, Seth. And I see their things come through and I see one that says bear and I'm like, Jason, there are people's moms here. Mandy's parents are here. This is gonna be so awkward. Comes up, we go through the awkward thing that what it is. And I was like, Jason, why did you put that? And Jason was like, I did it. And I was like, Seth, did you put bear in the fishbowl? And he was like, oh, it's from Super Trooper, it's funny. And I was mortified. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I don't watch movies, so I didn't get it. I didn't understand the movie quote at all. Most of the people thought it was hilarious, and they were like, oh, it's from Super Trooper, huh? It was fine with everyone else, but me, I was like, I can't believe you did that. It was so much fun to hang out with everybody and get to know everybody, and like, I loved it. And I'm so grateful that we got invited because I would never have planned a ski trip like that, but it was on real and so if we plan future ski trips I want to know where is the best place that you've ever been on a ski ski trip or snowboarding trip the weekend comes to an end the last night it's like uh there's a blizzard coming we drove to Denver we decided to upgrade the car so that we didn't have a car we had like a big vehicle what kind of vehicle did you get is it a surprise yeah. looks We never get vehicles this big. So far, so good, right, Seth? It's been great. It's been great. It's like one of the first hikes I did here. Did you get lost? Well, we parked like in the wrong place. Seth used to live in Colorado, and so we were driving past Red Rocks, and he said, can I take you to my old stomping grounds? Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly it. He used to work out here. Pretty awesome. I want to come to a concert here. Let's do it. Uh, we were flying out at 6 a.m. 4.30 in the morning, trying to beat the blizzard out. I can't take this off. Our shuttle guy said that there are 900 flights canceled. Because of this blizzard, the airport was insane. 
insane. And Seth is a person that likes to show up early and I was like, it should be fine. We eventually got through and our flight was leaving early to get out of Denver before the blizzard came. That was my Telluride weekend. I would highly recommend it. Apparently in the summer it's a bunch of festivals, like film festivals and bluegrass festivals and just festivals everywhere. A little bit difficult to get to. You either fly into Denver and drive six hours or fly into Montrose and drive an hour and a half. If you liked this video, please like it. If you're interested in travel, if you're interested in just like doing stuff, subscribe. And always, I'm on Instagram, living out of one way, sharing all my stories, all the things. Go follow me there. I can't wait to connect with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week. Mwah. Bye. Amber, I need some bonus footage. Dance. Oh. <laughs> cool. Hey, mystery man, stay fit. Stay facing towards the, the sink. Can I get a shimmy? Can I get a shoulder shimmy? Oh, whoa, guys. <laughs>